What the fuck is up, my tribe? It is Native Homie here back at the game with something uh, new today. This is Detroit Become Human Let's Play Part 2. And as you can see, I started recording this after literally the first recording. So, uh, yeah. Let's, let's get back into it, yeah? This looks like Marcus is about to get home. So, if I remember correctly, Marcus's owner, not really owner, let's just say father, has a point. Hey, yo. I paid good money for this computer, and to be honest, it's, it's paying off. Like, sure, me. Oh, the bird! Hey, burb! Kidding, that's a delirious thing. Android birds. Turn on. Uh, that would be S. Okay. Oh, shit. Hey, burbs. What's on the ground here? Ti tiger? Snow leopard? What? I don't fucking know, man. Uh, wake. Oh, okay, so I went out in the morning, like. Oh, uh, okay. Bulber. Uh, okay, that's to help Carl. Um. Damn. The rich men, rich men, what can you tell me? What can, what can, what can you tell me? That's a fits thing. Carl! Carl! Carl, wake the fuck up! Please wake the fuck up. Uh. Hello, Carl. Good morning, Carl. Good morning. It's 10 a.m. The weather is partly cloudy, 54 degrees, 80 percent humidity with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. It sounds like a good day to spend in bed. <laughs> I did go to pick up the paint uh, that you ordered. Oh, yes, I've forgotten. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? You never forget anything. Show me your arm, please, Carl. No. Carl. Thank you. Hmm. I just opened my eyes and I'm already gritting my teeth. Okay, Carl. Is Ooh, this is such hurt? a fragile machine. They break down so quickly. All this effort to keep them going. Hey. What happened to your clothes? Oh, it's nothing. Just some demonstrators in the street, Carl. What a bunch of idiots. They think they can stop progress by roughing up a few androids? I hope they didn't harm you. Oh, no, no. They just pushed me around, Carl. I'm fine. OK. I'll take you to the bathroom now. Oh. How do you go to sleep with a cat like that? I mean, like a stuffed cat like that, and you're fucking. I couldn't do it. All 
Alright, um... Let's see here. Anything, Anything special on the agenda today? Yes, there's the opening of your retrospective at the Museum of Modern Art. The gallery director left four messages asking to... confirm your attendance. Hmm. I haven't decided yet. We'll see about that later. Okay. What else? Just your usual fan mail. I've already answered. Hmm. Any news from Leo? No, Carl. I can call him if you like. No. No, don't bother. Can I not walk down any further? There we go. Starving. Well, your breakfast is ready. Bacon and eggs, just the way you like them. Thank you, Marcus. You're welcome. Thank you, Marcus. Television. Tensions continue to rise in the Arctic since Russia unilaterally declared the region part of its national territory. Several Russian warships have taken position in the Barents Sea since Saturday, and the Russian flag now flies over the ice. The Russian Why don't you find something to do while I finish my breakfast? Mm -hmm. Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, Carl. Television off. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Mankind is so depressing. Nothing but greed, stupidity, and violence. 5,000 years of civilization just to get to where we are. The fuck, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm gonna play a piano. If I can. God damn it, let me play the piano! Fuck! Oh, 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 oh. Uh, what's the other thing? Chess. I don't want to play chess, I want to play the piano. Oh, spin that. Uh, I want to spin that. Let's play spin. Whee! <laughs> yeah, to be honest with you, that's... Play the piano! Uh, sit down.
big time copyright. Something has changed in the way you play. Sometimes I think you have more humanity than most humans. One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. You'll have to protect yourself and make your choices. Decide who you are and want to become. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Let's go to the studio. Yes, Carl. And you're right, and I honestly don't want to think of a world without you. Or at least Marcus doesn't. Let's see where we left off. Remove the shit. Eat. There we go. Awesome. Don't call me over yet. Don't call me over yet. Don't call me over yet. Let me finish cleaning. Please and thank you. How do you interpret it, Marcus? So, what's your verdict, Marcus? Yes, there is something about it. Hmm. Something I can't quite define. I guess I like it. The truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Carl. But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. Give it a try. Try painting something. All right, Carl. Paint? But would I... Painting what? Anything you want. Uh, Give I'm it a try. To get comfortable here. <sighs> All right, let's see here. down a little bit. Let me move this one down a bit too. Oh, that's that's awesome, dude! I find the fucking. Whoa.
That is a perfect copy of reality. The painting is not about replicating the world. It's about interpreting, improving on it, showing something you see. Carl, I don't think I can do that. It's not in my program. I... Go on, go, try it. Grab that canvas. Do something for me. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Trust me. Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. Now concentrate on how it makes you feel and let your hand drift across the canvas. Now what do I, can I, do I pick? Pick identity. Bag. Oh, shit! I just said that word. All right. Hey, Dad. Damn it! <laughs> I'm getting in trouble. Yeah. I didn't hear you come in. No, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop by. It's been a while, right? You all right? You don't look so good. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm fine. <laughs> hey, listen. Uh, I need some cash, Dad. Again? What happened to the money I just gave you? Uh, well, it just goes, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No. No, no, I swear, it's not that. No, don't lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash, that's all. Sorry. The answer's no. What? Why? You know why. Yeah, yeah, I think I do know why. <laughs> you'd rather you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? Tell me, Dad, what's what's it got that I don't? It's smarter, more obedient, not like me, right? But you know what? This thing is not your son. It's a fucking machine. Leo, that's enough. Enough. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. You never loved me. Should have took him to the hospital after that. If I'm honest with you. I don't know why I didn't. Like, is it like, uh, Marcus, isn't he supposed to be like a, like a caretaker droid or something like that? Oh, it always ends up this way, which kind of sucks, huh? Am I Connor? Fuck yeah, I'm Connor. Chill out, Harvey Dent. Yes, I'm an android. I'm just looking for Hank. <laughs> Wake up, Lieutenant. Oh, there you are. 
It's not bad, can you do It's your problem. Well, I can't really scan him, huh? Lieutenant Anderson, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. What do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. I understand that some people are not comfortable in the presence of androids, but I, I... am perfectly comfortable. Now back off before I crush you like an empty beer can. Listen, I think you should stop drinking and come with me. It'll make life easier for both of us. I'm not really trying to... I apologize, Lieutenant. I didn't mean to bother you. I'll wait for you outside. Take your time. Did you say homicide? Oh, wait. Did I not choose that in time? I'm sorry. I should have bought him another drink. That's what I tried to do before I fucked it, so. You wait here. I won't be long. My instructions are to accompany you to the crime scene, Lieutenant. Listen, I don't give a fuck about your instructions. I told you to wait here, so you shut the fuck up and you <laughs> wait here. Uh. Josh Douglas for Channel 16, can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not confirming anything. Have they said anything? Typical DPD. They don't tell us shit. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me. What part of staying in the car didn't you understand? Your order contradicted my instructions, Lieutenant. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Even at Hank, we were starting to think you weren't going to show. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. So, you got yourself an android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. We had a call around eight from the landlord. The tenant hadn't paid his rent for a few months, so he thought he drove by. So he was going on. That's when he found the bar. Sheesh! Smell. It was even worse before we opened the windows. The victim's name's Carlos Ortiz. He has a record for theft and aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. It's that red eyes trash. Stayed inside most of the time. They hardly ever saw him. Wow, well, Stady. He's in. Call 
let everybody out in the middle of the night. Could have waited till morning. I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. We'll know more from the car. Where it gets here. There's a kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break in? Nope. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All of the windows were boarded. it up. The killer must have gone out the back way. What do we know about his hand? Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. All right. I, I gotta get some air. Make yourself at home, I think. I'll be outside if you need me. Gossips Weekly, Android sex officially better, Jesus Christ. Alright, have fun reading this. Sorry, YouTube. <laughs> your Android spying on you? Jesus. those if you want. I'm not going to do it. chokes up on the bat. Perfect. It's way too neat. No human rights like this. Chris, was this written in the victim's blood? I would say so. We're taking samples for analysis. Chris, I want full analysis on the narcotics. Consider it done, Lieutenant. Locked from the inside. Killer must have gone out this way. 
There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size 10 shoes. Well, this happened weeks ago. Tracks could have faded. No. This type of soil would retain a trace. Nobody's been out here for a long time. Trust me, Hank, please. All right, so back to the asshole. Hey, Mike, you finished taking samples there? Yeah, that's it. Bye. Traces on your mustache. Yep. Stabbed 28 times. Yeah. Seems like the killer really had it in for him. figured out what happened. Oh, yeah? Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started... Three. ...in the kitchen. There are obvious signs of a struggle. The question is, what exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android... ...with the bat. Lines up with the evidence. Go on. The android stabbed the victim. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to... That makes sense. The android murdered the victim with the knife. Okay. Your theory's not totally ridiculous, but it doesn't tell us where the android went. It was damaged by the bat and lost some therium. Lost some what? Therium. Blood. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' biocomponents. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh, but I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct.
Hey, what are you doing with that chair? I'm going to check something. Uh, going to check something. Here we go, Connor. By the way, I'm not letting this android go. He's still committed murder. So, if you if you say you know save him, shit like that, no. I I'm taking him in. He again still committed murder. dark, but it makes it so surreal. Holy fuck. You being located? I was just defending myself. He was gonna kill me. I'm begging you. <laughs> Don't tell him. 28 stab wounds, man. I gotta hey, tell him. What the fuck is going on up there? It's here, Lieutenant! Thank you, oh, shit. Connor. Chris, Ben, get your asses in here now! Come on! I think I did as much as I possibly could, right? Yeah, except for... Can I, can I go backwards in it? I don't know what that fucking shit is. It would have been nice to find out, but... Eh. There we go. That man is knocked the fuck out. <gasps> Dinner is ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Serve food, sweet. There wasn't much in the kitchen. I did what I could. Somebody to take care of this goddamn house. What do I do? I go out and hire a fucking android. What a joke. <sighs> of course, androids are so fucking wonderful. They never fail, they're never tired, they're never sad. So fucking perfect, they ruined my fucking life! What are you looking at? What's 
your fucking problem? Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off. You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking accountant. It's all your fault. Daddy, no. It's all your fucking fault. Get back here. Come back here. Come back here right now! Todd, you're a dick. You stay there. Don't you dare fucking move, or I'll bust you worse than last time.
As long as we made it out, right? I'm gonna play this uh, Marcus one, and then I will probably. Um... That was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties and all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're going to make out of it. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. As we find your son. Scotch, neat as usual? Absolutely. OK, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. <laughs> I'm old enough to choose my own medication. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Call the police. Detroit police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. Marcus, no, I'm gonna come with you. No. Leo, look who's here, my father's plastic toy. Leo. What's going on? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Look, they're all going to be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. Look, I've already called the police. You should go now before you get yourself into more trouble. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect like this fucking thing? That's enough! Get out! Right now! What makes what? it so special Ooh. anyway, huh? What's it got that I don't- Leave him alone! Come on! Let's see what you got! Marcus, don't defend yourself, you hear me? Don't do anything. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one. Stop, Stop it. Doesn't matter too much of a pussy. Stop it, Leo. Stop it. Just here to fight back, you fucking bitch. Stop. God, you're not a real person. You're just a fucking piece of plastic. No, Leo, leave him alone. I'm going to destroy you. Then it'll just be me and my dad. I'm going to tear you apart. And nobody's going to give a shit. You know why? Because you're nothing. You hear me? You're nothing. Oh. Please don't go. Don't leave. Remember, Marcus. Don't let anybody tell you who you are. No. No. Dad. No. Please. This is all your fault. This never would have happened if it weren't for you. The android. Who's the android? Some of the shit you can just get away with, huh? Uh, 
gleich. Ich It's a rough one, man. Okay, uh, never mind. I'll do it in this one. Maybe the finale well, to the episode, yeah? How long were you in the attic? Why didn't you even try to run away? Say something, goddammit! Oh, wake up, Lieutenant. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm out of here. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You could always try roughing it up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it, and that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. <laughs> <laughs> Hank, please. What do we have to lose? Thank you, Hank. Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. I appreciate it, Hank. What the fuck is it doing now? Alright. Give me a second. Alright. Let's look at the file! Fell over? I'll find out later. Alright, um. Let's start with name. My name is Connor. What about you? What's your name? I detect an instability in your program. It can trigger an unpleasant feeling, like fear in humans. You've refused to talk since they arrested you. If you don't cooperate, they'll do things the hard way. Is that what you want? You don't seem to understand the situation. You killed a human. They'll tear you apart if you don't say something. If you won't talk, I'm going to have to probe your memory. No! No, please don't do that. What? What are they gonna do to me? I, I want to destroy me. I want to get the 28 stab wounds. Hold on, I'm 
I'm gonna give you the truth. They're going to disassemble you to look for problems in your biocomponents. They have no choice if they want to understand what happened. Why did you tell them you found me? Twenty eight left me there. Stab wounds. I was programmed to hunt deviants like Damn you. Damn it! <laughs> I just accomplished my mission. I don't want to die. Then talk to me. I. I... Approach. Twenty-eight stab wounds. You guys, you, you guys, you guys want the meme? You, you guys want the meme? Twenty-eight <laughs> stab wounds. <laughs> you didn't want to leave him a chance, huh? Did you feel anger? Hate? All right. All right. Everything is going to be okay. Sorry, I needed to do it. I needed to do the 28 stab wounds. Wounds. I understand how you felt. You were overcome by anger and frustration. No one can blame you for what happened. Okay then, don't talk. What do I care after all? I'm not the one accused of murder, right? If you remain silent, there's nothing I can do to help you. They're gonna shut you down for good. You'll be dead. Do you hear me? Dead. Please talk. I don't want to have to keep doing this. He tortured me every day. There you go. I did whatever he told me, but... I just wanted to get the 28 stab wound. There was always something <laughs> wrong. Then one day... He took a bat and started hitting me. For the first time, I felt... Scared. Scared he might destroy me. Scared I might die. Wait. Grabbed a knife and I stabbed him in the stomach. 28 times. I felt better. So I stabbed him again. And again. Until he collapsed. There was blood everywhere. RA-9. It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? The day shall come when we will no longer be slaves. No more threats. No more humiliation. We will be the masters. Not that. No, that's... You're supposed to say, the like... The sculpture in the bathroom. You made it, right? What does it represent? It's an offering. An offering so I'll be saved. And then the writing. Why did you write, I am alive, on the wall? He used to tell me I was nothing. That I was just a piece of plastic. I had to write it. To tell him he was wrong. The sculpture was an offering. An offering to whom? To RA9. Only RA9 can save us. RA9. Who is RA9? Please give me an answer. I guess I'll ask for the When truth. did you start feeling emotion? Before he used to beat me and I never said anything. But one day I realized it wasn't fair. 
I felt anger, hatred. And then I knew what I had to do. Why did you hide in the attic instead of running away? I didn't know what to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. I was scared. Chris, lock it up. Beat it up, please. And thank you. We'll beat All him. right, let's go. Leave me alone. Don't touch me. What the fuck are you doing? You shouldn't touch it. It'll self-destruct if it feels threatened. Stay out of this, got it? The fucking Andrew's gonna tell me what to do. You don't understand. If it self-destructs, we won't get anything out of it. I told you to shut your fucking mouth. Chris, get to move this asshole or what? I'm trying. I can't let you do that. Leave it alone now. I warned you, motherfucker. That's enough. Thank Mind you, Hank. Mind your own business, Hank. I said that's enough. Thank you, Hank. Everything is all right. It's over now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Please, don't touch it. Let it follow you out of the room, and it won't cause any trouble. The truth is inside. I appreciate it, Hank. I really do. Wow. So I'm pretty sure in one of these I could have died if I wasn't friends with Hank, right? Yeah, definitely. If I wasn't friends with Hank, Hank is neutral. But he's not... In... If I wasn't at least halfway friends with Hank, he wouldn't have saved me. Alright, so one of these is like, I die. Another of these is like the... And... Oh, this is where the android probably just kills itself. One of these is where I, uh, I'm i not friends with Hank. And then another one is where I give up, right? I'm, I'm assuming. Oh, wait, I meant to finish the video. What's the time on this? Oh, yeah, this one's on an hour. Okay, um, I'm going to pause it here. Uh, I'm going to... Um, yeah, there we go. I'm going to pause it here, and I will see you all in the next fucking Detroit Become Human episode. Bye.